What's going on, people of the internet? Oh man, it's freaking Monday morning. Cold Monday morning. Frigid Monday morning. Looks like it's gonna be a rainy Monday. Looks like it rained last night. Huh, there you go. Freaking rain. Freaking rain. Every day it's raining except for the days when it's sunny too. Well, I got up uh, about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Just been dawdling around, doing my own thing, watching some TV. Drinking some water, gonna make a kapapi. Kapapi! Oh boy, today is gonna be one of those days. So I, actually, this is I'm a little stoked for this week, knowing that I work four days and then my final day of work is literally just a half day. That is so freaking stellar sweet that you don't know. Now, the only problem with half day friggin' Fridays is every once in a while, one of the guys at work, he's part of a special team that because I did after hours, I have training for. When he goes on vacay, they need me to work full day Friday, which I have no problem doing, you know. I asked the boss, I was like, you know, instead of half day Thursday, how about we make it half day Friday, seeing how we got a bunch of newbies starting up on Monday. When they're all trained, you can give one of them half day Thursday instead. And he's like, yeah, we could do that. I'm like, or if you're really generous, you could put me on Monday to Friday, nine to five. And he's like, yeah, it's not in the budget. Talking about the budget, eh? Talking about the budget. Speaking of budgets, did you hear that Ontario's broke? According to Uncle Dougie, Ontario is broke. We have no money. Hence why they need to do cuts to the healthcare system. They need to do cuts to the education system. They need to do cuts across the board. However, they want to make it so you can sell liquor in corner stores. You can sell liquor in Walmart. You can sell liquor basically everywhere. But there's a bit of a complication with this. You see, back in 2015, the Liberal government signed a 10-year deal with the beer store saying they would be the only ones able to carry beer in larger quantities than six-packs. The LICBO, or the LCBO, however you want to call them, does carry beer, but you can only buy them in six-packs. And it's a lot more expensive to buy a two, four, and six-packs from the LICBO than it is to go to the beer store and just buy a case of beer. That was loud. So, in order to breach this 10-year deal, which they have until 2025 to do, was that's when the contract's up and they'd have to renegotiate, there's a penalty to pay. And the penalty comes up to the sum of $1 billion, which apparently the conservative government has and could easily pay, according to Uncle Dougie. I hope that I put my creamer. So this is what I don't get. All these spending cuts on education, you know, things we need, education and healthcare. But he totally has the money for liquor. You tell me how that makes sense. You know, it's like these, these people who get welfare checks and go and shop at the food bank because they can't afford groceries. But every weekend they can go out and buy a two for a beer and get totally pissed. Doesn't make any sense. And this all comes back to what I've been saying about this current government. Basically, take away education, take away healthcare, then you got sick and dumb, stupid people. Give them alcohol more readily available, so now they're sick, dumb, and drunk. Then you can run a train on them and do whatever the hell you want, and nobody will be the wiser to oppose you. It's brilliant, right? Weaken your enemies, make them useless, and then just ruin their lives. Welcome to the conservative life of Northern Ontario, or just Ontario in general. It's so funny though, because what he's doing, conservatives are opposing. It's, it's classic, like he's losing. You see it in the news all the time. The members of his cabinet are resigning or, you know, opposing him and getting fired. Just done with it. So it's like when you have your own loyal followers saying, maybe you shouldn't be doing this and you still insist on doing this and you're pissing everybody off and everybody's walking. Like it's so bad that the federal conservative leader, Sheer, he fears that he won't make it in come this fall's federal election because Ford has stained the conservative name. Mind you, the conservative name has been stained for a long time because every time somebody gets in, they always go after the same damn things. And that's health care and uh, education every damn time. Last time we had a conservative leader here in Ontario, I was still in high school. And they did education cuts. And we uh, we were off for three weeks. From April till, well, from the, pretty much the beginning of April till nearly the end of April. 
three weeks off because the teachers went on strike because of the conservative cuts the unions were like yep we're shutting her down grab your pickets we're gonna go make a line that's what happened i remember those days that was brutal freaking conservatives man they always attack the same things doesn't matter but sheer would do the same on a federal base and i don't know if that'd be good he would cause a lot of problems he tries to say he won't but figure it out we don't want trudeau in for federal because look at all the bullshit he's causing an ndp don't stand a chance so yeah this fall <laughs> canada's gonna suck <laughs> all right it's time to go off to work let's uh suit up get out there go put in our time like i said we got four newbies starting today thank god i don't have to train any of them how cold is it down here right now it's currently 62 degrees i, I turned off the furnace because it's freaking June. I shouldn't need to use my furnace in June for crying out loud. And 62 is a nice temperature. I don't need a shovel to dig it. All right, let's get the jacket on here. Come to the dark side. So I wonder just how cold it's going to be today. Today in North Bay, expect a high of 13 and a low of 4. Oh, high of 13 and a low of 4 apparently. Thanks, Google. Well, at least it's sunny out, but that wind is something frigid. Wow. All right, well, let's jump in the truck, get off to work, put in our E for efforts, get this shift over with, come home. I don't know what we're doing tonight. Feels funny to know yesterday I was out here without a jacket on and today I gotta wear one because it's so freaking frosty frigid out. Yeah, it makes me laugh when like three weeks ago, Uncle Dougie gets up on the podium and we're just talking about the action not three weeks ago. But two, why is that on? About two months ago, gets up on the podium and announces that Ontario is officially broke. That we can't afford to pay attention. And yet his big idea is to give a billion dollars, because that's what it's going to cost to buy out the contract, uh, based on the sales that the beer store makes. Despite the fact that the Liberals have uh, allowed sales when they're in power, to go to certain grocery stores. Like you can go to Sobeys and buy a six pack of beer, same price as it would be over at um, at, the, at the LCBO, which is the uh, Liquor Control Board of Ontario. So it's not like you're getting any savings buying from the grocery store, it's just more of a convenience. Uh, Sobeys has it, Independent Grocers has it. I don't know which other ones, I think Loblaws has it. I could be wrong on that because Loblaws is under the same regime as Independent. Uh, seriously? Okay, it's because the crossing guard's out. I was like, why is this bus just sitting here? It's because there's not enough room, but there's totally enough room! The crossing guard was causing a little bit of a hijink. Anyway. But due to the sales in grocery stores, apparently the beer store sales declined by 9%. And their biggest concern is that by offering beer everywhere else, it's going to cause a great decline in sales with um, the beer store, therefore making it where they're going to start closing up beer stores. So due to the drop in sales and the contract that the previous government signed with the, LC with the uh, beer store, <clears throat> stating that they're the only ones who can sell beer in bulk, that's where this uh, whole $1 billion dollars for the remainder of the five-year contract comes into play. What gets me is, he announces that the province is broke, we can't afford to pay attention, so on and so forth, but somehow it's a billion dollars to cancel a contract that allows Walmart to sell beer. Like, that's a priority in the province right now, right? That's a requirement. Make liquor more available. That is so not a requirement. People can still go to the beer store and buy their beer if they need to. There's no reason to have it available everywhere. Not for that kind of money. That kind of money could be spent on the education system. Oh, hey, freaking bus is up on the curb. Jesus, Murphy, is this your first time driving school bus? Hopefully there's no kids in that thing. I'm wondering if I caught that on camera. He was right up on the curb. He nearly capsized her, boys. Sir, how's my driving sticker on that thing? Kind of want to give someone a call. Jesus Murphy. If there's any kids riding in the passenger side on the right hand side of that bus, they just got lobbed out of their seats. But he probably thinks he's driving his little Corolla or something, doesn't realize he's got to take a little bit longer of a corner. Wow, crazy balls. Anyway, I just, I 
I know one of the plans the Conservatives wanted to do was to drop the Liquor Control Board of Ontario, but they can't do it because it makes them too much money and it'd be a stupid move. It was like back in the day when they sold the 407, which is a, an express toll route. They sold it for like a billion dollars to some European company. I can't remember who it was. And now the damn thing's valued at $30 billion. Makes a lot of revenue, a lot of people traveling down south will use the express toll road <clears throat> because it's way quicker than taking the 400, 401, and a lot of the other highways that traverse down there. So because of this, Uncle Dougie's like, I don't want to make that same mistake again. And he keeps bringing it up. But how it was such a big mistake to have sold that. And I do agree with that. It was a big mistake. But the bigger mistake would be to pay this billion dollars to allow beer to be sold by conglomerates like Walmart and that. And I hate that this guy is literally feeding into these people. Like somebody asked me, why did I quit drinking Tim Hortons? It's because the way they treat their employees. When the $14 an hour raise came in, Tim Hortons literally said, we're not paying for your breaks. Your lunch is now unpaid. And they cut, they slashed their benefit. You, the amount of people that go through Tim Hortons and buy a coffee, a cup of coffee probably costs them maybe 20 cents to make. And they're charging $2.10 for a large, okay? Well, that's a huge profit margin. And I guarantee you, they, they sell a lot of coffee in a day. So because of this, and them saying they can't afford to pay their employees is literally corporate greed because they want to make more money this year than they made last year and vice versa. So adding an extra $2.70 per hour per employee is breaking the bank? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't, I don't, I don't freaking think so there, chief. That hardly even touch, figure it out. Corporate greed, man. That's why I quit Hortons. What pissed me off is my uncle's, uh, he was the one running for local NDP. And when he was at my parents' house, he was drinking Tim Hortons. And I'm like, you know, you, you ran a protest where you guys went and friggin' picketed Tim Hortons. And now you're drinking their product. Like, what the hell? How does that make any sense? And, he, and I kind of threw him under the bus and he felt really bad. And he's like, oh, I just can't get over their hot chocolate. It's so good. It's like, well, don't support the enemy, boy. Like, smart no. Speaking of Tim Hortons, huh, the drive throughs actually pretty, no, never mind. There's people freaking cramming it. But anyway, people, I'm almost at work. Let me know what you think of Uncle Dougie. I think he's a douche. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, all right, peace. All right, we're home. After an exciting day at work. Oh, man. What a day. Monday's done. Tomorrow's Tuesday. And then Wednesday. Then Thursday. And then Happy Freaking Friday! Hey! Whoa! Hey, wind! Jesus! Okay, back it up. I get it. You gotta poop. Let's go see if he partook in another carpet shit. I just don't trust this dog anymore. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. No, he's outside barking his furry little tits off, though. Were you up in the window trying to find out what your dog was barking at? Thought so. So I'm a little bit peeved right now with a combination of full screen and Google. Don't know who I'm peeved at more. Probably full screen. At the end of April, I never even checked because I ended up putting two-stage verification on my PayPal. And... Checking it is kind of a pain in the ass now because they got to text you a code so you can log in. Great protection and all, don't get me wrong, but it's like, hey, don't do not do that. Don't do that. Get away from my boots. She's clawing out my freaking boots. Son of a bitch. Don't do that. Go claw at that black thing over there. Come here. Come on, scampers. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Claw at this thing. Claw at this thing. Claw. No, no, no. Take your paw and do this. Do this. 
do that. Okay. No plowing up my boots. But anyway, so I never checked my PayPal much. And then I checked it the other day and it's like, huh, I never got paid for my March payout or my April payout. I haven't been paid in two months. What's what's going on? So I contacted support at full screen. Said, hey, you guys owe me like money. Why aren't you paying me? And they like, they replied back and said, well, we don't have your updated tax information. Now here's the thing with Canadians. See in the US, you guys got like W-2s and WBN 95 forms and LMNOP forms and all this bullshit. Up here in Canada, our tax form is called a T form. Either a T4, T0, T2, whatever. It's a T form. Big difference. Our social insurance numbers look nothing like yours. Ours are roughly nine digits long. Yours are obviously a lot longer, according to this form. They expect me to fill out an American tax form as a Canadian. Now, I do pay taxes on my YouTube earnings. Not very much, mind you, because in a year, I think my biggest year was the second year I was actually getting paid, where I took home 1200 US, but whatever. When I started taking home the money, I basically did the math in my head of how much income tax I should be paying on it. And I told work to deduct X amount from my check to compensate for that much. So over 26 weeks, if it's $1,200, I'm gonna pay roughly 20% of that. So I said, you know what? Take an extra 20 bucks per paycheck off and put it on my income tax. Just so when I go and claim it and show this new net gross as a, uh, on there as well as an extra income, in the end, it doesn't throw everything out of whack and I owe the government a bunch of money. So I was paying it and now they want me to claim it under the US and ask me to fill out a form that I can't fill out because I don't have the information. So it's like they don't wanna pay me anymore. But they're still getting paid. They're just withholding my money until I fill out a form that I can't fill out. Oh, God, YouTube is such a stupid environment. Why do I make these videos again? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do something I haven't done in a while. What's that? I'm gonna put in a workout tonight. But before I even consider that, first thing I wanna do, mix up a coffee, get a little bit of energy. I haven't eaten anything all day. Didn't even have my breakfast. So we're gonna make up a coffee, a little bit of this, some more of that, some extra stuff, blend it all together, drive it in my face, we're gonna bust a move on the old bow flex. I got a workout I want to try for getting the rear delts. I saw it on uh, <clears throat> this channel I subscribe to called Athlean X. If uh, you're into working out and stuff, you might want to check out his channel. Guy's got a lot of subscribers for obviously good reason. Because let me tell you, the advice he offers is pretty damn good. Pretty damn solid stuff. If you're trying to target a muscle group, guaranteed, he'll tell you how to do it. And the best possible way to do it to get the maximum out of your workout. And this here uh, workout basically involves using the lat bar on the lower end to do wide angle pullbacks, but it causes you to pinch your shoulders and it's going to basically create some really awesome rear delts, which is something that I noticed while watching the chainsawing video that I currently lack. So we're gonna remedy that. Fix her up, right? Right. Okay, we got coffee. We got some creatine in it. A little bit of maca root, some cinnamon, some heavy fat creamer, a 35% kind, some cocoa, basically to make the caffeine hit harder because that just feels good. No butter. Haven't done butter in coffee in a long time. No BP for me. We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna rage in the cage. All right, just finished my workout, had a shower, changing the pajamas. Look how baggy this shirt is on me, eh? I remember when these things were tight. Bought these like, two years ago or something off Amazon because I wanted more shirts and I lost weight and now they're pajamas. Made myself a 343 gram steak. Yup, that's gonna be good. You guys keep wondering why I haven't planted grass seed yet. Let me show you the reason why. Because tonight it's gonna freeze, boys. Yup, gonna be like 2C outside. That's like what, 34 Fahrenheit? Friggin' nice. June 3rd, going on the June 4th. Supposed to be t-shirt and shorts weather. Nope, put your parkas back on. Time to go shovel snow. Anyway, guys, it's freaking 10 o'clock. I'm going to bed, so I'm shutting her down here. Tomorrow's another day, so we'll have at her then. But until then, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, keep on vlogging. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.